agreed to, and I call the minister. Uh, well, thank you much, Mr Deputy Speaker. And can I acknowledge the contributions uh, of my colleagues uh, through this uh, debate and acknowledgement of the great contribution of Doug Anthony. On January 28th, we did bid farewell to a giant of the National Party. And certainly there's been any number of contributions about what he's done uh, for our nation, for regional Australia, the famous caravan. Uh, but Mr Deputy Speaker, I want to speak about character. Uh, and genuinely, Doug Anthony was a quintessential Australian. He was a man who had character, and that shone through at the memorial service last week. Uh, there are Im images uh, of Doug uh, at the beach with an alvey reel and a bamboo creel and a surf rod and a dog. Uh, and I know half the people who might be listening to this broadcast probably don't know what a bamboo creel is. But quintessentially an Australian taking time to go fishing, to spend time with their families, uh, to teach and pro provide knowledge and wisdom uh, to their grandchildren. And I think that is something which has really shone through uh, at the memorial service, not only last week, but all of the contributions that have been made here in this parliament. He was a dairy farmer. We know he was a lifelong supporter of the National Party. We know he was a giant of our party. But for me, Mr Deputy Speaker, my experience with Doug Anthony as someone who doesn't come from a political background or from a political family, uh, as someone who was a child through the 70s and 80s, was with Das Kapital, the Doug Anthony All-Stars, that famous comedy group uh, who were always out there on the cutting edge, tearing apart pretty much everyone in public life. And last week at the memorial, there was a clip which was played. It was an interview between that former ABC uh, interviewer, Libby Gore, uh, the members of the Doug Anthony All-Stars, and of course, a live cross via satellite to none other than Doug Anthony. And of course, Libby Gore opened with a question and she said, so Mr Anthony, what do you think of the Doug Anthony All-Stars? And with a straight face, very, very calm, I think they're the world's greatest plagiarists, <laughs> which I think was just a real reflection on the character of the man that was Doug Anthony, the world's greatest plagiarist. And I always want to, I, I want to acknowledge the contribution of Larry last week. I think there are very, uh, very few things in life which are more difficult uh, than doing a eulogy, not only just on a family member or a friend, but, on, but for your father. Uh, and he, Larry spoke incredibly well, in my view. He spoke incredibly well. Uh, and at, at the memorial, he spoke about his father's humble upbringing, the influence of his wife, Margot, and how she shaped his political views. Uh, and I get that, Mr Deputy Speaker, it happens to me as well. Uh, my wife will often say to me, well, at work, they talked about this, this and this, and you've got this, this and this wrong. Uh, and I've got to say, probably 10 times out of 10, she's right. So it's, it's good to have that level of support, and I'm very pleased it was there for them. He also said that my father did not directly seek power. The power and responsibility came to him. And he discharged this with enormous capacity, enthusiasm, energy and wisdom. Larry said many of his father's qualities were passed on from Doug's own father through the battles that he had to endure during two world wars. But what grounded him was Margot, his farm, his family and his local community. His son said he believed and hoped Australia is a better place because of Doug Anthony. And we know that Australia and the Nationals are all better because of Doug's contribution. And Mr Deputy Speaker, it was a great turnout at the memorial service. Uh, I travelled with former Senator Ron Boswell, Mike Evans, both well known to the people in the room. Uh, certainly uh, got a lot of stories on the road from Brisbane uh, down to the service and back. But I think also the contribution of John Howard. Once again, uh, at 80, no notes, straight to the lectern and uh, delivered from the heart. And he remembered Doug Anthony as a man defined by strength and decency, an emissary for the producers of Australia throughout a nearly three decade career. John Howard said he was a man who respected the importance of the coalition. He didn't bully people, but the strength of his personality and the strength of his arguments won through. Now, I couldn't agree more with the former Prime Minister's comments. Doug Anthony is one of the great nationals, and he is a great loss to his family, to Australia, and of course to our great party. Mr Speaker, Doug Anthony is someone that we should all look to emulate in this place. We should all look to the history and the lessons that he has provided for us. And I say vale, Doug Anthony. May you rest in peace and our condolences to his family and friends.